Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. So after some years of toiling in the rumor mill and occasional news releases, we finally have official information and footage of the Twisted Metal TV show. The trailer that released recently is just 50 seconds long, it doesn't show much about the show's premise or plot or characters, but does give us a glimpse into the tone and vibe that the series is going for. Peacock bills the new show as a 30 minute action comedy taking place in the post-apocalypse, starring Anthony Mackie in the lead role as John Doe and Samoa Joe the wrestler taking the role of Sweet Tooth the Clown. The trailer only shows off those things. We see Mackie in his car that appears to be a Subaru Impreza named Evelyn, based off the license plate. There's a few dramatic shots of him loading a shotgun using the shells that he has loosely stored in his glove compartment, before cutting to him pulling out his road mix CD that he pops in and dances to, revealing the show's vibe of wacky, over-the-top action undercut by its brand of humor. It gives me the feeling of Guardians of the Galaxy or some other MCU films. We see Mackie piloting the car through a road before showing off the show's version of the logo, which looks good but somewhat off to me. I don't know if it's just the way the letters are shaped, but I think I've just been so ingrained with a certain way of looking at the Twisted Metal logo that this new one just doesn't seem right, but it looks good regardless. Next, the trailer makes sure to slap Sweet Tooth in there. For most people, the most iconic character is Sweet Tooth, so naturally, if there's going to be a TV show trailer where you're trying to show off this show, you're going to have to slap him in somewhere to keep the old school fans sated. We see the iconic ice cream truck parked in Las Vegas, the show's version of Las Vegas, with the clown inside surrounded by a number of instruments of mayhem, and that's it. That's all the trailer really shows off. And like it or not, this is the first new piece of Twisted Metal anything that we've gotten in over 10 years. It looks fun and lighthearted, but with a sense of humor that isn't afraid of being corny at times, and a sense of action that seems to not be afraid of being ridiculous. Which may turn off a lot of people who maybe expected something closer to, say, Twisted Metal Black, but I do think that this is the right way to go to make it more accessible and fun. Because I think if you try to make something that's going to be, you know, dramatic and thoughtful and going to make you, you know, cry your eyes out like, say, The Last of Us, it, w it would take source material that's maybe more conducive to that. Where The Last of Us was, uh, but with Twisted Metal, it's always been fun and lighthearted and, and goofy. So I think uh, for the show to go that direction, to be more action comedy, I think is the right way to go, like it or not. And outside of that trailer, we also know that there's a bunch of other cast members that are confirmed, uh, such as Will Arnett, who voices Sweet Tooth. Uh, Neve Campbell, who plays Raven, who is a character from Twisted Metal Black, but I think in the show is going to be completely different. Stephanie Beatriz is a new character named Quiet, and there's a character named Loud, played by Richard Cabral. I don't know if there's any relation to those two, but Quiet and Loud uh, both appear as new characters. Thomas Hayden Church plays Agent Stone, who is a character from, I believe, Twisted Metal 1. He drove Crimson Fury and then also Outlaw in Twisted Metal Black. It's unclear what version of the familiar names there are that we'll see. Agent Stones, Raven, Stu are all characters that we know from Twisted Metal games, but with the completely different direction the show is taking, they will likely appear as something entirely different than anything else we've seen in the series. It seems like they're just pulling a lot of things that we might know or be familiar with with the series, but then just kind of turning it around completely, making it like a way different character and story and concept and stuff. Because there's no mention of like Midtown or even Calypso or the contest. So it, it, it's hard to say. We also know the basic details of the plot, which is it centers around John Doe, who's played by Anthony Mackie, being tasked with delivering a package from Chicago to the West Coast. I, I'm not sure if I know exactly what city is being taken to, but Chicago to the West Coast, delivering a package across the wasteland known as the Divided States of America. And he is joined by series newcomer Quiet, who is played by Stephanie Beatriz, where they'll encounter all kinds of colorful characters along the way. Um, it's unknown what the relationship with John Doe uh, Quiet has, if they're friends or they're uh, foes that find an unlikely alliance by some plot element. I'm not sure what their relationship will be, um, but they'll be doing this together. So sort of a, a buddy road trip movie, sort of what it seems like. I can imagine Loud might be involved with that. It's uh, it's really, it's tough to say. There's no mention of Calypso or a contest, like I said, but there's no reason to believe that Calypso could make an appearance or that even the contest wasn't taking place in some form. Either the contest is Calypso ordering the contestants to find John Doe, and the winner is whoever can stop him and collect the package he's delivering, or it could even be that the contest is what led to there being an apocalypse in the, in the show. Because if the show is taking place in a post-apocalypse, was it like this vehicular contest, like in Twisted Metal 2, that was a world tour and destroyed everything? And uh, now we're seeing the survivors of that. Um, it's really, it's not clear what the world is. It's just a post-apocalypse with a uh, 
John Doe putting around in his Subaru Impreza. John Doe that we know from the series has only appeared once in Twisted Metal, and he was the driver of Roadkill in Twisted Metal Black. John Doe was a FBI agent with amnesia, whose sole motivation is to find out who he is. But once he learns his identity, he is ended by Calypso, because Calypso, I guess, didn't want cops snooping around his business, but the version of John Doe there seems to be completely different from the version we get in Twisted Metal, the TV show. Roadkill the car that John Doe drove in Twisted Metal Black has appeared in almost every Twisted Metal game, with the exception of 4 and Small Brawl, I believe. It usually takes the form of a car that's pieced together with scraps of other cars from a junkyard. And the car we see in the trailer is sort of vaguely similar to the version of Roadkill that was in Twisted Metal 2, but really just in color, um, because in Twisted Metal 2, it looks like a Pontiac Firebird or something. And in the car we see there is obviously a Subaru Impreza, um, which I don't think has appeared at all in the series. There's never been anything even close to a Subaru Impreza, but it's still cool to see, like represented there. And it looks pretty put together. It doesn't look like a junk, you know, a junkyard scrap piece in in the show and based on the license plate that we see on that car uh it's probably named evelyn versus uh roadkill so even though it's named john doe i don't think he's driving roadkill so it, it really does seem like the new tv series is just taking familiar names from the games but then giving them almost no connection or relevance to the rest of the series but i do think it's good the series is taking its own path because the games don't really have a consistent narrative tone or even characters through each one the only through line is just there's a vehicular combat contest held by Calypso. That's the only real through line between all the games. And it'd be hard to translate that to a TV show. However, if it were up to me how the TV show would be handled, I think having like a serial series where there's like a, you know, one consistent story over the course of a season or several seasons, that's not the way I would go. I would want to do something closer to like an anthology series, let's say like a Twilight Zone or a Black Mirror, where it you know, every episode is about a contest that takes place in, you know, whatever universe. We know Calypso in the games is some interdimensional deity, you know, with, with limitless powers that can, you know, go between all these different colorful worlds, the dark world, the twist metal black, stuff like that. So, you know, every game is almost like an anthology where they kind of don't connect to each other. So if you had a TV series that sort of focused on one contest in the colorful world, and we saw the, the winner of that, so you get all the action, the combat, and the stories, you know, of that contest, and at the end you get the punchline of of warthog wishing for the body of a 20 year old but he should wish for the head to match you know stuff like that you know that that sort of twist um, that's how i would handle it i think having an anthology series where each episode or each season doesn't connect to any other episode or season it's just like a standalone episode that sort of just follows you know similar concepts of vehicular combat or the contest or clips or what but the show does seem like it wants to go the direction of, of a serial where each episode leads into the next and so on, where it's one continuous story, which is not, not a bad idea. It's just because there's no consistency with the games, you know, they have to per pretty much do everything completely from scratch and just try to incorporate what they can where it makes sense, which at this point just seems like the names of the characters. Uh, the, the new trailer does show off a handful of 90s style vibes and things but not the same wailing guitar edge that the series is known for from the ps1 era it's more of a softer edge 90s than the longtime twisted metal fans might be looking for where rob zombie could have been prominently displayed uh we were instead given the 90s dance pop track steal my sunshine by len not a terrible song i guess but it's definitely a long way from the metal riffs and dark industrial grit that the series has become known for and i think a lot of people do consider like rob zombie pretty much inseparable from Twisted Metal, so it's a little strange they didn't, you know, they're going to use some licensed music, you'd think it would have been Rob Zombie there. But I, I'm okay with the direction it's taking. It wants to be fun, it wants to be lighthearted, um, so it's really cool that they, you know, got, got a lot of 90s, 90s vibes going on. Uh, series creator David Jaffe um, says he was asked if he wanted to be part of the show as a cameo while they were filming the last scenes uh, down in New Orleans, but according to him, he was unable to attend that shoot, and so the cameo will likely take the form of, of like a background Easter egg. On like the like in the background there might be a bar or something with his name on it, um, so it's unclear what that'll be. But there'll, there'll be some sort of David Jaffe reference somewhere in the show, which is cool. You know, big shout out to the guy that you know made the series possible. And since the filming was wrapping in New Orleans, it's possible that the road trip journey that takes place in the show uh, would you know go through New Orleans in some way, or it could just be that New Orleans was where they shot, but it's actually the setting of the show is completely different. That that part's not clear. We all we literally have is just this trailer that came out it's 50 seconds long but at the end of the day i think if it wants to be an action comedy i think that's a perfect direction to go for twisted metal and i'm optimistic about that especially because the writers are from i believe cobra kai and deadpool or at least the, the producers are from 
Deadpool. So you get that that bit of that that edgy, gritty, sort of raunchy, you know, wink and a nod humor. And I think that fits Twisted Metal very well if it's executed properly. And uh, but with Twisted Metal, you also have to have this, you know, insane action set pieces to go along with it. And I think uh, based on the based on what we saw in the trailer, we didn't see much action, but we did see you know him driving through our street, shooting and and, and all that. So there, there's there's possibility that the action will be top notch and great. Uh, that could maybe make up for some of the comedy that doesn't land. But it, it, sh- it should be, if nothing else, it'll be good, clean fun that, you know, maybe Twisted Metal fans aren't particularly fond of if they wanted, like, something like Black, where it's this dark, gritty, moody environment that's just, like, upsetting and gross all the time. You know, which, that's what I like. Twisted Metal Black is my favorite game. But if they were to make a TV show that's going to be, like, a, a long series, I think maybe that that's the direction to go is, is action comedy for sure but there is a tv show on netflix wednesday that i'm sure most people are aware of and i think the vibe of that show the sort of dark gothic but also you know humor i think that is a great direction to go for the new tv series but instead it, it seems to be this um just 90s nostalgia porn but we'll see we'll see how it goes um but by, by all accounts it's a talented cast it's a lot of fun interesting ideas and we'll see how it's executed and if it's done well then it could draw a lot of interest into the series again similar to how the last of us or the witcher or cyberpunk edge runners did for their respective game series uh we can see that same sort of uh huge boost you know reinvigoration of the twist metal franchise I guess we'll have to see. July 27th, that comes out on Peacock, which is a streaming platform I'm not sure many people have, but this might be a reason to go get it. Anyways, I've been Desidu. Thanks for checking out this video. Making sure, uh, make sure you've, you've, you've hit the like button, you've subscribed. Uh, go in the comments, tell me how wrong or dumb I am, I guess. Yeah, have a great day.